in the last class we had come out with an architectural plan for a single house bedroom so in this class we will learn how to convert the architectural plan to a structural plan so this was the drawing we uh, came out with this is an architectural plan where there it shows the relationship between the rooms and how they are connected for example this living room is connected to the kitchen and the bedroom it shows the open spacings like door openings and window openings the sizes of the room length of the wall which is shown here and the dimensions of the room are also shown so an architectural plan is one where it is a view from the above showing spaces in the building in the same way as a map it shows features like walls windows door openings and it also shows us shows the room size and the wall lengths so in order to build this the architectural plan has to be converted to a structural plan a structural plan will look something like this so this shows the position of the loading members so the position of columns and the beams you can see that the columns are located at the corners and at the intersection of the beams or walls and you can also see that the larger spans are avoided by introducing the columns in between so there are no columns inside a big hall so uh, the, uh, uh, but there are no rules for fixing up the column position but these points have to be kept in mind so a structural plan is one where they are primarily concerned with load carrying members they show the position of this load carrying members and their sizes and types of the materials used so to convert an architectural plan into a structural plan the following points have to be kept in mind so first we have to do positioning and orientation of the columns next we have to consider the positioning of beams spanning of slabs and selecting proper type of footing so when we come to call column positioning so we have to keep following points in the mind one is column should be preferably located at the corners of the building and at the intersection of the beam and wall as i had shown in the drawing column position should be so selected that it has to reduce the bending moment in the beams this is a technical aspect avoid larger span of the beams since we know that the deflection of the beam is directly proportional to the length of the beam and inversely proportional to the depth of the beam so if the span is larger the deflection will be more so in order to avoid that we have to reduce the span of the beams by providing a larger cent smaller center to center distance between the columns or in other words we have to avoid larger center to center distance between the columns so next is after positioning column uh, some of the technical aspects that we have to consider while positioning of the columns are as it was told earlier large span should be avoided and spacing of the column should be small so that the depth of the beam is restricted and this is when once the depth of the beam is restricted so it will be economical and will have more headroom and the aesthetically also it will look good 
column should be avoided inside a big hall so that the space the floor area is not affected as far as possible column should be kept inside a wall and they should not be projecting outside a wall so if you see here how the orientation of the column is done in in a wrong way can be seen so if the orientation is done in this way it will affect the floor space and also the appearance is not good so therefore it should be oriented in such a way that the projection it should not project outside the wall and also another point to be kept in mind is to have proper stability of columns the depth should be oriented in a way which is along the longer length so well, first point to be considered is it should be done in such a way it has to utilize the complete capacity of the column avoid projection of the column as the moment of inertia of the column will be more along the depth it is preferred to orient the column with its depth along the larger by unbalanced length so depth should be oriented along the larger unbalanced length this is this provides proper stability to the structure so we can go back to the slide and see how the orientation of the columns have been done in the structural plan so you can see that they are oriented along the longer span so this is a longer span of the beam so they are oriented the depth is oriented along the longer span so these points have to be kept in mind and uh, uh, with this i am sure that you would be able to position and orient the columns for a given small residential plan thank you